Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I want to try and help some people out with the Sand Devils silly old new dungeon. Yeah, the Necropolis is a tough dungeon to beat. So firstly, I want to show a very easy build that a lot of people can do. And it will be for kind of progression onto the kind of mid-levels. And then I'm going to show a build that can, that can beat the final stages. But at the moment, I don't think it's 100%. It's kind of close, but it's not quite 100%. And I think it's going to be more of a food for thought. See if it's going to help a lot of people try and beat those final stages. So let's start with the easy build. And what's cool about this build is it's not just going to be down to a one fella that loves to smile. Torture Helm is going to be the fella that I'm going to use. But I know full well that other champions that do a similar thing to this guy can do exactly the same job. Why is Torture Helm the dude? Just because of his passive. When he's dead, he pops back up. Yeah, so as long as you get him running quite quick and give him a decent HP pull, he is going to be absolutely fine on the early levels of this boss, doing it by himself. Yeah, so basically what I've done is I put him in regen set to get his health back. I put him high HP. So he's just gone HP gloves, HP chest, speedy boots, and then I was looking for speed and HP together. On substats, I'm probably way over tuned for what I need. Uh, I've got him in resistance. That's from like an old build. Don't even need that. Let's just take that off. Uh, in fact, I'm going to see because my great hall does account for a lot of stats. So if we take all of that jewelry off, hopefully that will get people to a better place. So I'm at like 60, 70 odd K health, 220 odd speed. And then we've just got War Master as the main mastery. And I've also got Whirlwind of Death for. Uh, no, that's irrelevant, actually. The only one that's relevant is Spirit Haste. Spirit Haste, more speed as my dudes die. And then War Master to get a little bit of extra damage in. Cool thing about this one, because it's a dungeon, you actually farm XP as well. So look, here he is in action. I'm not going to show you the whole run because it's kind of boring, but I'm on stage 12 here. And I basically soloed stage 9, stage 10. Stage 9 is quite quick. I did it in about three minutes. Uh, stage 12, obviously, the boss has just got much higher stats and starts to become more difficult. But if you're going to farm overnight, you can farm a higher stage. He drops down, he pops back up, and he's like, what is your problem, sand boss dude? And he kind of gets back into the fight. So look, he's not the only one that can do this. There's actually quite a few champions that have got passives similar to this. I think Bushy uh, will be a good one. Brachus is definitely a good one. In fact... I want to thank Gerhard for sending me through a screenshot of his version. So he's running this Brachus. Um, basically just running a damage Brachus, actually. So 38k health, 4.8k attack. Gone for crit rate and crit damage. Not worried about accuracy or anything like that. He's only running a 172 speed. And he's beaten stage 9 here in like two and a half minutes. So, you know, that type of champion that's got these passives that can just pop themselves back up. Just... Gives you a chance to both farm food and farm the dungeon at the same time. And yeah, it's uh, it's not pretty to watch, but it is effective. I'll let this one run through and then I'm going to show you a team which can beat the final stage. So here we go. I mean, it's an 11 minute run. I'm not saying it's quick, much quicker if you're on lower level stuff, but it does at least give you an option. Yeah, if you're just like sh uh, struggling to get this dungeon done, just be aware there are champions out there. And it does mean that if you're forced to do this kind of, you know, upgrade something each day type of quest, well, you're going to be able to do it in six runs, which are a bit longer, and perhaps get some farming of XP done, which is worth something to your account at the same time. So that's the, the kind of solo strat. Now let me show you a higher level and show you a team that I've been working on. Now I do need to call someone else out here. This was not my concept. This was near one. Uh, concept ni one has come to me and basically said pull together a team that is taking on stage 25 based on the unkillable stuff but with different champions so this one's actually pretty cool because it does utilize champions that might have been sitting around in the vault for a while so this is a demitha unkillable team using revive on death from light sworn but then using thanassal who i think is pretty much one of a kind here Withier can do the same job, but Thanassal 
seems to be, for me, like the best in slot, which is weird. <laughs> then that's what comes out of the vault to be best in slot in this team. So let me show you the team setup. Dimitha prioritize A3, then A2. She's running at 215 speed with a good amount of HP. Septimus running at 217, uh, just prioritizes Holy Sword whenever he can. So Thanassal, turn off his A3, prioritizes A2. He's running at 221, high health. Armaga uh, prioritizes the A2, running at 252. And then Light Sworn, quite quick on this one, 277. Needs to be more than 270 to get the job done. And yeah, just want to go decent health again. So basically, all of your damage is coming from Armaga and Septimus, yeah? Or Armaga and Septimus could be interchangeable for other enemy max HP champs. Uh, ideally, their, their hit is a single target hit. So Septimus and Armaga are doing the job. Husk could do the same job as well. The Nassau, as I say, is the healer. You need a heal on a three-turn duration for your whole team that's ideally using their HP pool to heal from. There's not many out there, honestly. I've looked. There's not many. Light Sworn is, is being used for revive on death. And again, we're on stage 25 here, so this is hard. If you're trying to recreate this team for lower levels, basically you just need to scale back the speeds to accommodate for the level you're running. So whereas at the moment I need to be more than 270 speed to deal with the boss, if the boss was at like 250, then basically you just reduce all of these speeds by 20. Okay, let's go through some builds here. So Light Sworn, he's basically got good HP, good defense, 277 speed. He's the fast one of the group. He needs to be faster than 270 so that he does his... Revive on death before the boss does his nuke. And that's what keeps you in the game. Mastery is very little. I put some of the uh, give me more healing type of masteries and some of the reduced damage masteries, but I don't think they're essential here. Uh, the next champion is Tenassel. Literally no masteries on him at all right now. But I do have his A2 booked. This is a skill that we care about. We don't want accuracy on him because we actually don't want him to land his sleep. And ideally, you don't even want to book his A1, but you do need to book his A2 to a three turn. There's not many champions that, that do what he does, which is a, a heal all, champ, all allies by proportion of his max HP on a three turn. There's actually very few champions that do this. Um, I've got him in regen set. I've got him high health. He's at 221 speed, 89k health here. He needs to be faster than Septimus, slower than Armaga. So Septimus build. Uh, my Septimus got level one brimstone, but it's not essential. Speeds it up if it does land. Um, I've got him in Savage Gear and Cruel just so he hits harder. I've got him with Refresh Accessories just for a, that odd chance to proc the Refresh, but it's not essential either. Masteries, we've just gone kind of damaged Masteries. I've gone War Master on him because he's the last one who hits before the boss wakes up, so we could get a War Master proc away. 217 speed, and then we've kind of got a decent amount of health to make sure that he can sustain some of the hits. So he's actually got an HP chest on. And um, yeah, Warmaster on him. Armaga is the other max HP champion. These can be swapped for other ones as well, but being the right affinity is helpful. Again, Savage Gear, no accuracy in his build. We don't need him to drop turn meter. We just need him to hit hard. 252 speed, needs to be more than 250, less than 270. 100% uh, crit rate, 210 crit damage, and some nukage. And again, he's got Helm Smasher on his mastery because he will hit before the end of the, the kind of sleep duration. And yeah, we don't want to be getting extra hits in from Warmaster. Uh, and then we've got Demitha as the other champion in this squad. So Demitha is just in speed gear. She's got high health, good defense, 215 speed. Somewhere around 215, 216 is where we want it to be. And that's it. Um, let's get into the run. And the way this runs here is we get revive on death, pops us, we all spring back. We then get the sleep mode. We get damage off while he's having a little nap. The Nassau heals us and revives our, our max HP on that phase as well. And then it's kind of like a rinse and repeat. Demitha gives us block damage so that we take less damage from the A2 of the boss. And then we're basically waiting for that kind of same play out to go again. I think you can run people like uh, Septimus and Armaga in frenzy, not frenzy, in um, reflex sets so that you get to your enemy max HP quicker. We actually get not much of a different hit between max HP when he's asleep and when he's awake. 
Yeah, but you'll see it just runs in this same rotation. Uh, the speeds are a bit finickety, and there is a chance to fail. Yeah, the chance to fail is if the decreased speed throws us out of sync. But it, with these speeds, so far I'm 100%, and uh, touch wood, we kind of stay that way. But you see, we just run in this same rotation. We get back to this. Lay on rest comes in. Heal. Nuke. And then back to the block damage. It's not quick. It's like an 11 minute run similar to the Man Eater stuff. But it is, in essence, an unkillable or perhaps you might call it a Phoenix style team. Like a Revive on Death team mixed with unkillable. And again, for like level 25 stuff, at least then we're now starting to get some options out there that you can run. The trouble is, I mean, this is going to be a good time, a 10 to 11 minute run. And, you know, people don't really want to have their PC just running for that long for this style of dungeon. Unless perhaps if you're an end game player, and if you are, I would suggest you are likely to be trying to run a quicker team than this anyway. One thing I will say is if you can get Brimstone onto, you know, this dude, Septimus, or whoever you're using here, in this kind of spot, a Crizia would do it even way faster, honestly. But if you can get Brimstone going, then obviously that's just a, a ton more damage if you can get it to land. Uh, and that helps you a lot. If you've got things like uh, Cruelty available to you on someone like a Light Sworn, reducing his defense, that would help you as well. So there are things you can do to kind of pick the speed up a little bit. I actually think two Armagus might be quicker than Armaga and Septimus, but. Uh, ultimately, it runs and it runs, and the boss dies. <laughs> it's not pretty to watch, but it is what it is. I'll let it run through, uh, and I guess it's it's just kind of worth calling out. You know, there's there's already a bunch of different strats out there. I'll call out. I saw a video from Murder Inc. today um, with like a quite a fast run with level 25 stuff. Uh, it was it's still legendary heavy with Duchess and what have you, but. Uh, I think the strat was actually really cool. So worth checking out some other creators on this because they're starting to get some support out there. I am seeing on places like Facebook, I'm seeing a lot of you know, nobody's helping me with the early stuff, which is why I showed the other kind of run earlier. I'm trying to try and like cover all bases here, but there's a lot to try and get through. And obviously it's still a new dungeon. But there you go, guys. I've been Hell Hades. Taking on this silly old new boss. I'll see you later.